I am pretty decked out, got the full face on, got my Lee uh, knee slash shin guards, uh, and I even have my, my padded underwear on. Hey, what's up, Duff here? Got the InMotion V10F, and we are doing the proper Dunkin' Donuts ride today. I actually did take this to uh, the close Dunkin' Donuts yesterday. You know, the one that's like three miles away yesterday. Uh, but today we are going to the, uh, the OG Dunkin' Donuts, which is, uh, you know, between 10 and 11 miles away. And we're gonna see how the V10F does in that journey. Hopefully well. So I just took the wheel off the charger. So it should be, uh, should be more or less full. And we'll see how it does. You know, the, the, uh, the battery in the, uh, the V10F is a little under a thousand watts, watt hours. So it's not a huge battery, but from all accounts that I've heard, it, it, it does a good job of milking decent range uh, out of that size battery. So we're gonna, we're gonna put that to the test today. See how it works out. One of the features the V10F has, and uh, a lot of in-motion wheels have this, is that you can uh, change the pedal angle right from the app and uh, yesterday when I was riding, I stopped a couple times and I adjusted it. And I thought I thought I had it feeling good, but it doesn't it doesn't feel quite right yet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull over up here and uh, tweak it a, de a degree or two and see if it feels a little bit better. Generally speaking, I like my pedals to feel just uh, totally flat. So I'm running darkness spot, and I went into darkness spot and I changed the pedal angle in there. It said I was at three degrees. So I changed it to zero, but it doesn't feel all that different to me. For some reason, it still feels to me, I don't know, how's it look on camera? Probably can't tell on the camera. Still feels to me like I like uh, the pedals are tipping up a little bit based on the feedback I'm feeling in my, uh, my feet. So I don't know, maybe I need to try to set it in the InMotion app itself. It doesn't really feel any different. All right, I think I got it. It's weird, like, if I use the slider to set it to zero, you know, zero degrees, it still didn't feel quite right. And then I just did, uh, I used the option to uh, reset to the default configuration, which also sets it to zero. And that feels a little bit better. Still feels a little weird to me though. It's, it's I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, I'll be fine, but it doesn't, for some reason, it doesn't feel as flat as um, as I'm accustomed to with other wheels. Or maybe it's because it has, I don't know, it has no, I don't think it has hardly any di dihedral angle either. Maybe that's what I'm feeling. I don't know, I'm not quite sure. So the top speed on the uh, V10F is um, 25 miles an hour, you know, when you're at a higher battery uh, level. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to be very conscious that I don't suffer from uh, Shermanitis or V12itis as I call it. You know, wheels that can that can very comfortably go much faster. My body's become accustomed to going at those higher speeds, so I need to keep my speed, you know, in the lower 20s uh, for this ride. If I don't, there could be consequences. Uh, I probably should have wore my GPS so I could easily monitor my real-time speed, but I'm just going to have to uh, go by feel, I think. I want to take a minute to thank anyone that participated in my live stream Friday night. I had a live stream. Uh, Marty actually unexpectedly came in. He joined the live stream. He was probably there for uh, maybe even more than half of it. So yeah, Marty and I were talking about all kinds of stuff. Uh, talking about the Master, talking about the Kingsong S20. Talking about all kinds of things. So if you didn't get a chance to check it out, um, do so. I'll put a link in the description or just search my channel for live streams. It's the most recent one, episode 59. Riding into a headwind. Now again, if this was my Sherman or my, my V12, I would be uh, charging ahead, not caring. Yes. With the V10F, I don't quite have a good sense of, of how much you can push it. I mean, the V10F is not a weak wheel. It has a, a 2000 watt motor. So, I mean, it, it's, a, it's, it's using a, a, a decently strong motor. You know, 2000 watts was kind of the the, uh, the Bellwether uh, motor for a while, for a couple of years. So it, it is a pretty strong motor, but I still do not want to push it. 
because I don't need to hit the deck. Hitting the deck hurts. Riding on the V10F, you know, which is a you know a mid-range wheel, slower wheel. I am pretty decked out. Got the full face on. Got my Lee uh, knee slash shin guards, uh, and I even have my my padded underwear on. You know that, that uh, protects your your rear end and your hips. Because it seems any time I've ever gone down, uh, my hips always take a beating. So. This underwear, even though it isn't the most comfortable thing in the, in the world, it does pad those areas that take a beating. So I would uh, recommend it. So speaking of taking a beating, I saw uh, Jimmy Chang posted a video. And that one guy that he does some of his videos with, uh, they got a master, I don't, I don't know where they got it. And uh, they were uh, pushing it, the, not Jimmy, but I guess his buddy was on it. About 60% state of charge. Uh, they're not quite sure exactly how high or how fast he was going. Somewhere in the neighborhood of, uh, I don't know, low 40s maybe, maybe maybe touching mid 40s, quite fast. And uh, the wheel uh, cut on him, cut out. Um, you could you could hear it. The the stationary camera that they had, you could clearly hear it beeping. Uh, the the um, Jimmy's friend did indicate he heard it beeping. And I guess he thought for some reason that it wasn't uh, it wasn't beeping long enough or uh, to or fast enough to be that much of a concern. And obviously he was wrong. Uh, the master took a beating, as you can imagine. Uh, the the front and back light assemblies were destroyed, and it actually had enough of an impact that the metal subframe had a crack in it. So I don't know how safe that'll be to repair. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm sure whoever uh, sent that wheel to Jimmy uh, isn't very happy right now. Yeah, I guess that's the risk that you take. So the, the master in general, that's one of the things that we talked about on the stream. The master in, in general has gotten uh, positive reviews. It's gotten positive reviews, at least from a performance standpoint, without a doubt. You know, it has uh, a combination of torque and top end speed that, that we really haven't seen before. Usually you had to cycle sacrifice one for the other. Uh, with the master, you do not appear to have to do that. So yeah, performance wise, it really hasn't gotten a lot of rave reviews. Uh, on the downside, you know, there's some questions about QC. It's a Bagode wheel, so I mean, uh, stellar QC should not be expected. And it seems like the master is, uh, is not the, um, the best example of QC. Most people will say that the hero actually is the best uh, QC wheel that uh, Bagode's ever made. And the other thing that a lot of people have been bitching about is the range. The range on the master uh, for the size of the battery pack is not good. Uh, it's not good at all. I guess Mickey has, he's riding a master, I'm not sure where he got it from or whose it is, but uh, he said something about like he was uh, riding around the city he was at 90% battery when he left on the journey, and I think it was between six and seven miles later, he was down to like 60%. So the master, at least with the stock battery configuration, uh, does not get great range. People were complaining about the range on the uh, S20 slash S22. Seems like the master uh, uh, is uh, worse than that. So. No, as long as you're not doing, uh, not expecting it to be a range monster again, though, you're still going to get some uh, very appreciable performance. So another thing that came up during the live stream was a discussion about batteries, specifically batteries that are used in the current generation wheels, or, or a lot of them, uh, namely the Samsung 50Es, the Samsung 40Ts, and the Molly cells. And uh, Marty is of the opinion, at least currently, until he sees some data that, that shows otherwise, that the Molly cells, you know, the most expensive batteries, the Molly cells, which have a very high discharge rate, you know, like the 50Es, I believe, have a discharge rate, max sustained discharge rate of 10 amps. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm working off memory here, the Molly cells, I believe, are in the neighborhood of 40 amps continuous discharge rate. So they, they can discharge uh, much, much, much higher than uh, these other batteries. The, the Samsung 40Ts, um, they, I believe, can have a discharge rate of around 15 amps max uh, continuous. So they're a step up from the 50Es. Um, 
And as, and as you can imagine, as you go up in discharge rate, you also go up in cost with these batteries. And the discussion that we had was, what are you really getting uh, for that extra money? Because I think that there's some people, maybe a lot of people, that think that, hey man, if I pay an extra 600 bucks for these Molly cells, my wheel is gonna be faster. You know, because these, these batteries have a much higher discharge rate. Um, that's not true, not really true. I mean, like if you, if your wheel does not know what batteries are attached to it, you know, short of, of them doing custom firmware for uh, different battery configurations, which I do not think that any wheel manufacturer is planning to do, um, your wheel will, is gonna pull what it's gonna pull. What the different battery cells do is it gives you more overhead and more safety, of course, uh, when pulling those amps. That's the advantage. It's more of a safety thing. It's not, it's not a performance thing. Although the Molly cells will give you better performance over more of the pack. You know, you'll be able to discharge your higher rates over the length of the pack. So that, I guess that is a performance advantage. But as far as seat of your pants, torque and top end speed uh, on a fully charged wheel, uh, you're not gonna really see a difference. So the question is, who is willing to pay that much additional money for peace of mind and to be able to go faster, longer, I guess. That is the question. I know for me, I would be 100% fine with just the, the, the stock 50E uh, batteries. No problem. Those 40Ts, you know, they, they are smaller batteries that you actually will get less range with a 40T pack. Higher discharge rate, you know, so it can do higher discharge rates safer, but you're gonna be giving up range. I would rather have the range in my situation. We also talked about the um, the EX20S, you know, that some reviewers are starting to get. Wrong way, just got one. Uh, Jack from Electric Dreams was talking about it. I guess he, he has ridden the wheel as well. And uh, one thing that is definitely agreed upon is that wheel is a boat. 3,600 watt hours, and I believe it checks in right around 110 pounds. It is a heavy, heavy wheel. Uh, Jack was more critical of it. He said that it does not handle well because of the weight. He said it accelerates slow, it brakes slow. He was not a fan. So, you know, I mean, the EX20S, I guess it's, it's a hard surface, long distance cruiser, primarily. That suspension, you know, which is, it looks like it's the same suspension that's being used in the Master, which uh, that's another complaint I didn't mention with the Master, is the suspension uh, bottoms out very easily from a lot of reports. Uh, Marty didn't think it did, but I've heard tons of people saying that they're constantly bottoming out the Master. And I would think that would be even worse with the EX20S because it's, it's even a heavier wheel. So, I don't know. I mean, that thing's gonna cost a fortune and uh, it is not a wheel that I find a lot of interest in. I definitely do not have these pedals at a good angle. I mean, I'm only, I'm only five miles in maybe, maybe six, and, and my feet are burning already. That's, I mean, us, usually with my other wheels, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, I, don't, I don't start getting this feeling until, you know, 15 to 20 miles into a ride. So I'm gonna have to do some tweaking here to find out what, what is the magic combination on a V10F that uh, feels good for longer riding. It's also quite warm right now, even though it's uh, probably a little after five o'clock. It's uh, probably right around 90 degrees. So I'm, I'm feeling it. You know, my magic underpants make it uh, even feel warmer, so. But we will survive. But I definitely gotta do something about this, this, this foot thing. My, my feet are gonna be uh, literally on fire by the time I get home if I don't adjust this. Man, I was so, uh, so into talking to you guys, I missed my Heritage Bay turnoff. I, I didn't get on the path as early as I could. All right, so I stopped and now, now I moved it to plus 3.9%. <laughs> Or three, I'm sorry, 3.9 degrees. See how that feels? I don't know. Yeah, like I, because it seems like a plus angle actually means tilting it forward. Minus means tilting it backwards. Now I think I'm gonna have too much pressure on the balls of my feet. It's been a long time since I've been, since I've had to futz around with a pedal angle for foot comfort. I almost, I, I guess I've taken it for granted. Look at all this construction, guys. It's crazy. There's nothing here. 
It seems, it seems impossible that real estate is as crazy as it is here in Florida. Because, I mean, they are just, this is everywhere. They're just building like mad. Yet, you know, no one can find a place and prices are escalating. And it's, I don't know. I don't know where it ends. You know, there was much the same mindset back in like uh, 2005 or so and the bottom dropped out. So I don't know if that's going to happen again or not. Or if this is just sustained growth, that's not going to stop because... Um, Evidently, in the last year or a couple of years, there's been more people moving to Florida than any other state in the country, you know, which I'm sure is COVID related and, you know, uh, primarily COVID related, I think, to be quite honest with you. But um, yeah, Florida, Florida is the destination that a lot of people are picking nowadays. And of course, around every complex, this is the other thing that you see more of in Florida than anywhere, are storage facilities. There's another storage facility. It's incredible how many storage facilities there are in Florida. Uh, evidently, people, <laughs> I don't know. To me, if you have enough junk that you need to throw it in a storage facility, you probably have too much junk. That's just, I don't know, that's just the simplistic way I look at it. But it's incredible how many storage uh, operations there are down here. I mean, I bet it's triple digits. It's crazy. Everywhere you look, there's these massive storage facilities. And of course they put them near condos and apartments, I guess, because those are the people that are most likely to have some space issues, but it's it's amazing. It's, it really is. Okay, we're on the home stretch, less than a mile to go. Hi, turtles. There's like five turtles. You won't be able to see them, but there's like five turtles on a rock out there in the, in the canal. Um, yeah, so we're almost there. We'll do a battery check-in and uh, see how things are looking. Hopefully good. We have arrived. Let's see how things are looking. Huh? It feels good to get off because of my feet. Um, okay. Uh, I don't think this mileage in this is correct because I, um, I hopped over to the InMotion app. I started in darkness spot. So this is saying about 10 miles. It's probably more like 11 something. 60% battery. And I was hoping for a little more left than that. 60% battery. So uh, hopefully we can get home. All right. Yeah, the gentleman was nice enough to make me a fresh pot of coffee. I guess in the afternoon, a lot of people don't get hot coffee. You know, I'm kind of weird that way. Kind of weird in a lot of ways, but yeah. Got a fresh pot of coffee. And we are rolling again. I just double checked the uh, battery level. It uh, recovered a couple points. It's, it's, it's showing 62% battery. So I'm hoping that the um, lower than expected battery number is because I was going into a headwind uh, pretty much that entire trip here. So having that wind to my back should help me uh, be more efficient on the return trip at least that's my hope you know because i don't want to of course i don't want to walk it and then and of course i really don't want to be like uh snaking around or, or uh, snailing it you know you know 10 miles an hour or whatever as i as i uh, deal with speed limiting so it'll be interesting to see how this goes but the experiment continue so another thing marty and i talked about on the stream was our our uh, mutual feelings of frustration regarding the Kingsong S20 slash S22, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, specifically, the inavailability of the wheels to us. You know, the, the delay has been crazy. Now, I mean, I shouldn't complain. Marty, Marty actually paid for that wheel in full uh, last October. I only put a deposit down last August. So I only have floated, a, what was it, a hundred bucks or 200 bucks, I don't remember. Uh, I'm not floating all that money like Marty is, so he's, <laughs> he is uh, very frustrated, which I totally understand. But I mean, both of us feel that, you know, I don't, I don't, I really don't want to tolerate this anymore. I, I'm, I'm tired of, of wheel announcements being made, uh, sales, pre-orders opening up on wheels that you don't get for uh, six, seven, eight, nine months later. It's just, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it anymore. So it'll be interesting to see uh, if manufacturers change anything, specifically King Song and Emotion are uh, the biggest offenders 
in that regard. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'm 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 tired of it. And and both of us commented like it's been so long, you know, from when the S20 was announced to when people actually will start getting them. It'll be like uh, you know the the shine is gone. The uh, the the specialness uh, will have worn off. We joked about how the master, I mean, it wasn't something that was even uh, talked about public, publicly when Marty put his wheel, uh, paid for his S20. And in the meantime, King Song announced the wheel, tested the wheel, designed the wheel, and rolled it out uh, into production. People are getting uh, masters already. So, yeah. I know, King Song in motion, you guys gotta rethink that, in my opinion. Oh, one final battery related thing. I forgot I wanted to mention this as well. Uh, we were talking about the master. One of the things that's a little controversial about the master is how um, unlike most EUCs, you know, we have multiple battery packs inside, but each of those battery packs adds up to the voltage of the wheel. Like in the case of a hundred volt wheel, you know, you have, you know, two or four battery packs that um, on their own are hundred volts. The master has done something different. They have their battery packs in series. So they have four battery packs, each with a voltage amount of around 33 volts and change. When you add them up, you get your 134 volts. Uh, this is something interesting. It had some advantages, I would assume, for Bagode. Uh, namely, they didn't have to reinvent the wheel when it comes to a BMS. Everyone said, or from King Song, they said, oh yeah, we have all these technological cha challenges with you know, developing a 126 volt BMS. Uh, Bagode said, okay, well, we'll avoid those, those technical challenges by just uh, putting four 33 volt uh, packs in series. Uh, we don't, we, it's, it's, it's much easier. Um, the other advantage is you don't have as much voltage per pack, so I guess there's less less potential energy, AKA, you know, fire potential in each pack. What are you doing? I know these people, man, they drive like futzes. Um, so that's another advantage. This advantage is if a pack would fail, uh, you more than likely no longer have sufficient voltage to move the wheel. Whereas in a parallel configuration where you have, you know, four packs at hundred volt, you could lose an entire pack and still uh, be able to function more or less. So. But I mean, entire packs don't fail. That, 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 that was Marty's point during the ride was, you know, packs, entire packs don't fail, cells do fail. Um, so you could, you could lose some cells in one of those packs and still not be dead. So I don't know. I guess time will tell if that's a problem or not, but it's an interesting solution. So changing my pedal angle to a positive number, like I said, I think I'm at like 3.9 right now. It does feel better. I don't, I, I'm, my feet are not burning as much. So I guess for me, I need a positive number. Definitely got a tailwind going this way. So I think I should be fine. It will be interesting to see what my final number is though. I was, I, cause I was thinking that this wheel could do, um, you know, 30 miles pretty, pretty comfortably. So we'll see what reality is. Okay, I just took a peek at my phone. I'm rolling like 18, 19 miles an hour very steady um, and my rolling battery level was like 40 percent and it showed my speed cap was at like 22 at 40 percent battery so it's not bad i don't want to jinx myself but um yeah so bad or so far not too bad not too bad at all except for my feet B10F definitely does not get a, a high score as far as foot comfort, at least uh, not yet. I just stopped to throw out my uh, coffee cup, and yeah, we're still, it still said like 40%, which doesn't make sense because I've gone a few miles since I checked last, but um, yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, doing well. So I think overall, the, uh, the headwind that I was going into on the way there will be uh, negated by the tailwind on the way back. So. This story is almost concluded. Of course, I'm always glad to come back home, but today is the first time in a while on a ride that I've been like, oh, thank God, because my feet are burning so much. Oh my goodness. It's been a long time since I've had uh, that degree of uh, foot discomfort, but I'm pretty confident that, that can be uh, addressed with uh, some more tweaking 
of the calibration of the wheel. But other than that, the B10F did a good job. So based on that battery indicator, you can tell we are, you know, we are getting down there. But I did not have a single tilt back. I did not have any speed limiting. Now I was, I wasn't going fast. I mean, I was, I probably did almost a, a very solid 18 to 19 miles an hour uh, the entire way back, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get warned at all. So that's good. I'm not a big fan of in motion tilt back. Let's see what our numbers are. All right, so this says 19.2 miles. Like I said, that's that's inaccurate because this was started late. It's probably more like 21 miles would be my guess. Um, top speed, 22.9 miles an hour. And wow, yeah, see this says, that's crazy, right? This is showing 37 to 38% battery. Talk about a difference that a tailwind makes. You figure I used, I was at like 60, let's say 62% so I used 38% of the battery there, but I only used, well, let's see, 20, 24, 24% on the way back. So uh, significantly less, what was that, 50% less? Yeah, that's the power of a tailwind, guys. It makes a huge difference in your battery consumption, tailwind and headwind. So yeah, always, always keep that in mind if you're gonna be pushing the range limits of your wheel, that weather conditions do matter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this ride. Um, if you did, please think about giving the uh, video a big thumbs up. It helps visibility on the video, helps helps everything. So yeah, it doesn't cost anything very easy. It takes a, all of what, uh, a tenth of a second. Click like, if you liked it, if you didn't. Click dislike, because that, that actually helps as well, believe it or not. Um, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. And what did you think of that performance? I guess I should, let me screenshot this. I will screenshot it so I can include it. Although it's like I said, it's not accurate because the mileage is not gonna be 100% accurate, but you'll get the idea. What was I saying? Yeah, leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Big thanks again to anyone that uh, tuned into my live stream on Friday night. Huge thanks to my members, my channel members, uh, all 13 of them, uh, right here they are. I appreciate your support. And um, members, uh, the, my members, uh, some of my members are really, really, they're, they're just good people. They're nice people uh, and I do appreciate them. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, this upcoming week, I, I have some time off. And then the following week, I have some time off as well. So I'm going to be getting some extra time off. So you might be seeing more of my face. If that's good or a bad thing, that's kind of up to you. Um, but that's all I have for now. So until next time, Duff Man out. Best $500 wheel I ever had. Who is it? Elsa. Hello. Hello. Gonna smell the wheel? How's the smell? Okay, good girl.